and welcome back to the realm of insanity. I'm the Queen King Felix C and I have a beautiful little box from Magic the Gathering. Thank you to Magic the Gathering for sending this over. This is Battle for Baldur's Gate, the new Magic the Gathering set and we're going to open it together. Firstly, it's time to have a look what is inside. Now this is not just any chest. Much like any Dungeons and Dragons session, you have to be aware of mimics. <laughs> this chest is in fact a mimic everybody fear for your lives inside we have some delightful little goodies that we are going to open together i don't know how much we're going to see on the actual bo box here on this camera but let's have a look here we go here we go here's the box uh we're gonna have a look inside we have lots of goodies it's a bit zoomed in, but don't worry, we're going to go through it. I'm actually going to move the box over where you can't see it so that I can easily grab stuff from it. And then I'll lay them out. So inside this lovely little mimic, we have two, two collector boosters. Two collector boosters. I do need to mess around with the uh, webcam. Hold on one second. Ugh. Had to mess around with the bandit cam a second, please hold. This is pretty cool music, isn't it? Uh, we need to do a couple of things. Uh, we need to that. There we go. That's a bit more. Turn it down a little bit. Uh, we need to turn off these two. Which we need to focus on. Exposure can go up a little bit. Never have auto exposure on chat. It's just too much. It really is. Uh, the, uh, the automatic stuff on the, the Strinkle webcam is pretty good. But uh, does need a little bit of help with the auto exposure. So turn up the saturation a little bit. So we've got a little bit of the colours going on delightful there we go right that's better that's much better right so in this box as i was just saying we have two beautiful collect oh, i think i might have done the saturation a bit too much hold on i just can trim out all this bit it's great it's fabulous we have the technology i need to use my hand for reference there we go that's better got it cool okay so Oh no! I just refreshed my chat. It's fine, I got it back. I need a second editor already? <laughs> wow. Wow, rude. Wow, it's a crazy girl. See that? Yeah, I what is wrong with people? Sorry, I just had to quickly yeet a tweet out of the way because it was creepy and weird and inappropriate. Uh, anyway, back to where I was. So, I just can cut to this point. <laughs> and I can cut to this point on the VOD because <laughs> now I'm talking about editing. Inside this beautiful chest, we have two collector boosters. For those that don't know, collector boosters have all shiny or special art cards, and they are about £25 each for each pack, so that is incredible. We have um, a selection of different packs that we're going to go through as well. Uh, we have, oh no, three collector boosters. Just kidding, there was three. I'm just collecting all the card packs. Please hold. We also have one, two, three, four. I'm sure there was more than four, but they're in here somewhere. Uh, there we go. Five, six. Super lucky, big Magic the Gathering fan. So many collector booster packs. I know. I'm a big Magic the Gathering fan too. As of um, last year, I started playing it, not just collecting it. And uh, you can blame the guy creepily leaning behind me for that. 
Uh, we have that many set boosters that I just counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine draft boosters. I'm sure there's meant to be ten, but we'll get to that in a second. I'm going to move those up for a minute. We have a commander deck, which is lucky because I play commander. That's all I play, really. The uh, We have the commander deck, which is Faldorn, Dreadwolf Herald. For those that don't know what he does, whenever you cast a spell from exile... Is the music really loud? I turned it down a little bit, just in case. Goodness gracious! Oh, did you see the thing? Yeah. Um, whenever you cast a spell from the exile, from exile, or a land enters the battlefield under your control from exile, create a 2-2 green wolf creature token. Discard a card, exile... Um, you can pay one mana and tap it to discard a card, exile the top card from your library. You may play this card at any time. So this is a red-green deck. Has lots of goodies in it. We'll have a look at that. Yeah, I like commanders. Mm -hmm. Uh, speaking of Pinfinity, which we used earlier, who wants to do exclamation mark Pinfinity for me in the chat? We have the D&D &D, um, dice, the D20 official Dungeons and Dragons merch Pinfinity augmented reality pin. If you scan this with the app, it will do some cool stuff, which I'll show you right now. Uh, I believe, uh, I believe MJ Bar, you can get 20% off with this with my code KPOWXD, by the way. And, um... I believe MJ Bar was saying you can actually spin a dice with it. Like, you can actually use it as a dice. So, hold on, bear with me. Uh, let me let me get the app up. So, uh, here is the Pinfinity app. We scan the card. I've got to try. Let me move this commander deck out of the way. So you scan the pin, sorry, not the card, you scan the pin. It might be because I've not taken it out of the packaging, to be honest. Or it's just having a moment. It might be because I'm, oh, it's still loading, hold on. The app is still loading in, please hold. Oh, now it works, oh god! So, tap for it. Tap and in for initiate. Oh. Oh! Okay, that's so cool. So you've got an AR dice here with this. That's so cool. Sorry, I just bashed you a little bit there. Okay, that's really, really cool. Can you roll for luck? I'm rolling for luck! Will I get some good cards, dice? Mm, 16's not bad, not bad. Again, you can get 20% off this pin badge and many others uh, with KPOWXD. We've also got the official Elder Scrolls Online pins. Check my Twitter if you want to have a look at those. Um, but today, we're just now we're focusing on D&D &D and Magic. They do a lot more D&D &D pins. They have a Mimic, I think, and a... Um, oh, I can't remember if they have a Beholder as well. They have a couple of uh, the creatures, the monsters, for you to look at. So we've got the Pinfinity pin. Um, Badgers, can you close your eyes a minute? Can you just look away a minute? Can you just like, just, 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 just trust me. Can you just like, look away a minute? Okay, We've got these, but we're not going to tell Badgers that they're in here. Okay, so don't, 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 shh, shh, we're not going to tell Badgers that they're in here. No, here? no, I'm not passing them. He will eat them all. No, no, we're going to put them back in the box and pretend we didn't get them. I don't know what you're talking about, Badgers. Well, I, don't I, don't know, I don't know what you're talking about, Badgers. Oh, have you? You got your own stash yeah. downstairs. Yeah. We have a pre-release box. This is fantastic because this will have at least one foil card. It has a couple of packs and uh, either a life counter or a dice. That's usually what's in here. Can't tell what we got in this one. Don't spoil it if you've already got the pre-release. Uh, we also have some fantastic stickers from D, D themes we have a mimic we have a d20 and we have a healing potion how perfect is this for kajaji for those that don't know i played at a DD campaign set in the elder scrolls online universe and uh, i played a character called kajaji she's actually one of my follower emotes if you want to spam her in chat oh, you idiot. sorry 
Oh, Badger's just opened a drawer on my knee. Oh, you, you pleb. Why did you do that? I, do, I was going to get the sleeves in a minute. Oh, my God. You absolute lemon. Anyway, as I was saying before I got attacked, we also have a player's notebook, Ow. which is really, really cool. Uh, inside it has lines or squares. And I think around the back there's some more stuff as well, but uh, just really, really cool notepad for D&D players. I'm probably going to be using this for Rose Less Travel Campaign 2 because this will be brilliant for keeping notes. And uh, we have a... <laughs> we have a scroll! We have a scroll which has all the information about who, they, who I'm tagging on Twitter and stuff. But to you, it's just a pretty scroll. Um, I thought I had 10 packs of draft boosters, but I don't know what's happened. So let me just check that there's nothing lost in the bottom of this. Oh! 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 Oh my god, I found something that I didn't know was in here! What colour? What colour? Ooh! We got a dice set! I didn't know this was in there! I had no idea this was in this box! Blue! Interesting! Interesting! We got some blue dice! I did not know there was a dice set in here! Oh my gosh! I've got, um, uh, Ophelia I've requested. I made Ophelia some new emotes for her channel. If you were in her Sunday D&D session, you might have seen a new D20 and a, a, a Nat 20 and a Nat 1 emote. I drew those for Ophelia and instead of asking for payment, I've asked for her to make one of her Arcana, Arcana Pouches di dice bags. So I'm going to put that... Uh, in with those. I'm going to check that I didn't miss anything else in this box because I would have probably thrown away all these worms and there was dice in them the whole time. That's terrible of me. Oh dear. Okay, so that was... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Why am I like this? I think that's everything. Badgers, would you like to carefully check the mimic and see if I've missed anything in its mouth? Do you want to say where this Uh, what do you mean? Uh, this box, I, I did say at the beginning, but for those that are new in, this is a gift from Magic the Gathering themselves. They sent this to me to unbox because they like my content and I like them. So thank you to Magic the Gathering for sending this over. But most of this stuff you can buy. Um, in the UK, we use Magic Madhouse a lot. You can use any local card website or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, this is absolutely... Uh, I'm, I'm, I, this is probably my favourite package that they've ever sent me. I'm a huge Dungeons and Dragons fan. Uh, I started playing uh, about three years ago now, properly, and I've absolutely fallen in love. Most of my days are spent, like, every morning I wake up, do my makeup, and watch Critical Role, or catch up with Ophelia's uh, campaigns, The Change Valley, and yeah, I just, I, I absolutely love d, d Right, Badgers has disappeared, um, so... I don't, he, he usually tells me what I should open first. I think I'm going to open the uh, badges. What should we open first? Right, um... Well, stop leaning on it. <laughs> it's quite simple, dear. I'm so happy I got a dice set. I didn't um, know I got dice. Thank you. Personally. Personally. I'm thinking pre-release, because then I can put the packs with the other packs. I was going to say open Commander first. Commander first, right, okay. We're not going <laughs> This is just the opening, we're not going to go into detail about each card or anything else. No, I'm just going to flash you the, the Commander deck and we're going to have a quick look at what's inside. And I'm probably going to pop out all the little goodies, because I like doing that and it's satisfying and fun. Just try and get all the packs out. Huh? There's no packs in here. What? Packs to open? Oh, the collectors! The collector yeah, the sample. collector sample. Right, so inside the commander decks, uh, for the past couple of um, sets, they have actually been uh, including in the cardboard 
uh, some pop outs that are actually very helpful. So uh, you have counters on the side. Don't forget to pop these out if you're buying um, commander boxes. Uh, I am a huge counter lover. I, I love using counters and uh, flags and things like that. So you can pop these out. There's more on the top here, so you can pop those out. Uh, there's also a divider on the back. So if you've got cards that you want to sort, you've got a divider that you can use for your deck box sleeves or not deck box sleeves, for your deck storage. You can use uh, this as a divider. You've got more counters down this side. And I just love how they're making it so the packaging is actually useful. They do also, for those that are concerned about wasteful packaging, if you're not into the counters and using the counters, they do actually sell... Um, packaging like less packaging versions which is what that is uh yeah so this would be like what you get in the other one it's just this in a little box but uh it's got less packaging with it so in here we have a couple of things in here i need to be careful that i don't i don't think there's uh, i can't remember if there's a code in the commander set so you have a life i'm sorry i'm gonna keep bashing that let me move that um you have a life counter here, so start with 40 and then uh, you, you, you go down and you uh, if you want to keep track of your health, you can use these to do that. We use a mobile app uh, that is better because you can track commander damage that way. What I actually use these for is um, I actually use these as a counter to show how many times I've summoned my uh, commander. So, because I've got a terrible memory, so if I summon my commander to the field... Told. Oh wait, does it not go all the way down to zero? Oh, flip it over. Oh, okay, right. I get it. I get it. I get it. So I will actually start this on z on one to say I've not summoned it. Summon it. Bring it up a counter. That's what I use them for. Um, I'm so happy they changed from plastic packaging. It felt so wasteful. Yeah, only a code in pre-release. I thought so. No, we've not done the giveaway yet. We'll be doing the giveaway soon. So in here we have a little, uh, usually a poster or some kind of thing. I'll show you the poster for those that like artwork because I like posters. So you have like a little thing you can cut off the advert and just have a poster. And information about your commander which is really really cool. Real cute, real cute. For people wondering the, the lore and story behind magic and how all of these sets combine together is very, very in depth because it's very similar to like Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons, you've got a whole overarching storyline, even though you've got the spin offs as well. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely massive. Yeah, magic is a huge thing, but uh, we have a collector booster sample, so you get, um, I think, I can't remember how many cards you get in here, I think two. Ooh. Two. You get two co collector cards in here, and uh, it basically gives you an idea of what the collector boosters are like. So we're going to put those with the other collectors. Uh, we get the main cards, which are your like your two commander, your commander. I think sometimes a second option for a commander, and your. Um, it's a different order. Uh, you get your tokens. That's the word I was looking for. Tokens. So this has a lot of wolves, eel and spiders and uh, satyrs and Phyrexian beasts because that is what this deck uses. I wish they'd do a commander that has cats and dogs because then you get loads of cats and dogs tokens and I don't have a lot of those. Uh, I am actually, when we look at cards, I'm going to turn off the autofocus so I can actually just focus it in. So since we're looking at cards now, we're going to turn off the autofocus and we're going to zoom. We're going to zoom it. There you go. So uh, this is Faldorn, Dreadwolf Herald. This is like the actual card. This is not the actual card, actually. This is a slightly thicker version. So if you are one of those people that accidentally shuffles your commander into your deck, you might want to use this one because it's a bit thicker than all the others. Then you've got your tokens. And then we have... Uh, it's also got a different border. And then you've got the normal deck right here, which I will open, but we're not going to go deep into it. If you... Yeah. If you want to see the 
you want to quickly show off, we can do it. And then if you want, I can just have a quick look for and just show off to any special. Well, we, I don't want to actually, you know what? I don't think I'm going to because we're going to end up seeing cards in here that we're going to open and I'd rather just go through the opens. Some, some there are some exclusives in here, but um, we'll, um, I think I might just do the pack openings first. If, um, there's one thing I do want to bring up just because that some people may not understand why there was a commander sample, a collective sample pack in it. Mm -hmm. um, the reason for that is that Magic has really recently increased the price of their commander cards. Ah, commander yes. Packs. And the reason for that is because of cost and everything else in the world that, the world that we live Ow. in. Ow! Everything just costs more to manufacture. So for, to compensate that, that's the reason why they include a sample pack mm -hmm. for the collector. Um, the, but yeah, that's the reason why, if you're wondering why we've got that. I'm going to do this next. So I'm going to turn the autofocus back on. Uh, I'm going to do the pre-release next just because it has packs inside and I can stack those with the other packs. Uh, but this is quite a fancy little thing. Uh, have they changed the way? Okay. Ooh. Oh, no, here we go. They have a cat and dog deck in jumpstart range. Yeah, but you don't have a guarantee to get that pack. You have to hope that you get the cats and dogs. That's what I, 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 I mean. I want to guarantee. I know. I know. I, I do. I got a magic expert here so i don't need to but i do i just i want an actual guaranteed cat and dog token rather than having to spend like a ridiculous oh i forgot as well um they've also done the um free counters and stuff on the pre-release so again you've got your little counters on the side they're really satisfying to pop out i also have been playing magic for over a year now i think because Badgers was teaching me like early last year. So I do know my stuff. I wasn't, I'm not just some pleb on the internet that got lucky and got sent some magic cards. I do actually play. <laughs> like I made my own deck last year and everything. But I appreciate, I appreciate the, 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 the trying to help. I do. And I will tell you one thing, Kay's deck is strong. I've and beat Badgers a couple of times. Uh, so I don't know what you'd use these for. Maybe just like markers or something. They're a bit small to be dividers. But I mean, they're they're cute and they're extra, so I like them. I'll, yeah. I'll accept. You just like popping them out. I just like popping them you out. This on Ziggy. Oh, did I? <laughs> oh, Ziggy, I'm sorry. He hates boxes as well. Dog tokens are so hard to get hold of. Uh, so here's our pre-release. I I was gonna say if you didn't get a dice in a D and D pre-release, that would have been so bad. It's a um. Sorry, life counter. Oh, it's not a D20. A it's not a D20. It's a life counter. Uh, shut up. We have as well. Oh, ooh, it's a D20. Another divider. Because it's the battle for it's the battle for Baldur's Gate badges. Yeah, that is a, that is a D20. We got a pre we got our pre-release promo card. We were gonna look in for a second, and we got three draft boosters that feel very strange oh, oh these are oh have they changed these they now? feel weird they're like boxy they're like square yeah, look these are normal ones do you see how they're completely square what that's strange okay. can you pass me a normal one a normal one yeah uh, I'm going to open the pre-release foil while you're doing that so you're guaranteed a foil pre-release card, and uh, usually they're uh, real fancy. Oh, <laughs> let me just take my Magic the Gathering Arena. Wait, where is my Magic the Gathering Arena card? I don't want you to take my stuff because I actually downloaded it. Okay, I'm hiding my Magic the Gathering code. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about those. Uh, we got a token. We got a token. And we got... No, I can't use it. Ooh. Ooh, that is a nice... That is a nice foil, though. Mythic, shiny, pre-release. Dang, that's nice. You can get Mythic Planeswalkers as pre-release cards? What? Whenever you scry the net... That's a lot of words. I'm not reading that. Badges, you can look at this. And we should probably sleeve that one. Because that's yeah, a real nice see. card. Okay, Badgers is looking it up. I'ma get my sleeves. Um.
Hmm, I wonder why. Yeah, it's strange. They're like square. Scribe me a river. <laughs> Do you want to... Oh, I'll put it here. Um, right. I can't remember. Badgers, can you remind me what ones do we open first? Draft. Draft, okay. You know what? We'll open the pre-release ones first. Scribe me a river. Why are they square? It's like okay. they've been squished together. So that is actually a very rare card to actually pull through. Really? Yeah, you could, yeah, it's, it's taking me some time to track it down. I've got. Good go. He's really impressed. Carry on, sorry. So that pre-release card um, is going for about twenty pounds. Oh, twenty pound pre-release. Elminster. Nice. Right. So we have Roving Harper. When Roving Harper enters the battlefield, draw a card. Earth Tremor. Uh, Tremor deals damage to a target creature or planes. Well, I, I like reading these bits as well. The, the little lore bits on the bottom. The Harpers value peaceful coexistence, historical preservation, and harmony within nature. And each day they spread their ideals a little further. We have Earth Tremor. Every cave-in is Moradin telling you to leave this earth where it is. Halga Dwarven Recluse. I'm a dwarven recruit, recruit. Jade Orb of Dragonkind. The land cards have nice text on them too, like little quests. Oh, cute. Add forest. When you spend this mana to cast a dragon creature spell, it enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one. Oh, dragon would like that card. Dragon, dragon spirit would like that. Arukakakakawa. Oh. Shh. I think I hear goblins. And I definitely smell them. Merkel's Edict. This is a card where you roll a d20 and that affects what you actually do with the card. These are really, really fun. Love it. Might be good for Badger's Chaos deck. He likes chaos in his Chaos deck. And it's a black card, so... Decanter of Endless Water. You have no maximum hand size and you can tap it to add one mana of any colour. That's really cool. I know where that's going. Where? That's going to it's going. No, it's not going in your blue it's deck. You can't have it. It's mine. No, no. No, you can't have it because I don't want to play against that. No. <laughs> now, remember, under no circumstances should you utter the word geyser, geyser, in the same rune as. Oh, blast it! <laughs> that is brilliant. Mana gate. Land, gate, mana gate enters the battlefield tapped. As mana gate enters the battlefield, choose a colour other than green. Or you can tap it and uh, and then you can tap it and add green or one mana of the chosen colour. Ooh, handy. A barrier that shields privileged eyes from the city's ta Whoa, woes, woes. <gasps> Tiamat's fanatics! They worship a dragon. A three-headed dragon. It's not actually, well, it's not technically a dragon. Five headed, we have five added, whatever. Nimble right schematic, sch schematics. While it is certainly a unique touch, Jan, does the mustache really need to be there? High artificer and a beach. Run away to get. Oh, how cute is that? They're running away together. Choose two cart target creatures controlled by two di by different colors. Return those creatures to the owner's house. True love means always knowing what's on the other's mind. Oh, they're running. It's a mind flayer, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a mind flayer. That is so cute. Underdark Explorer. Keep your fancy magic. All I need is to hook and sturdy length of rope. Hook and a sturdy length of rope. Oh, it's a mimic! Sometimes the closet is a monster. <laughs> Only sometimes. 
Uh, sacrifice Diamond Mick at one, one mana of any colour. Or you can pay three. Diamond Mick becomes a shapeshifter artifact creature with base power, toughness, 5-5 five, five to the end of turn. Warehouse Thief. Wealthy pariahs make up the vast majority of both his victims and his customers. <laughs> Badges in most Skyrim runs. That mimic is pretty good, right? Not bad. Uh, Moonshade Pixie. Instant Adventure. Very pretty. I love the art in Magic the Gathering. Look how pretty she is. She's so pretty. <gasps> oh, burnished Heart. Not born of nature, but deeply connected to it nonetheless. Oh, they reprinted it. Oh, it's so cute. They it. they Look at it. it. Sacrifice Burnish Heart. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Put them onto the battlefield. Tap, then shuffle. Well, I need, I need, Ooh, I need pretty ones. elf. Kaga Shadow Arch Druid. Whenever Kaga Shadow Arch Druid attacks, it gains death touch until the end of turn. Ew. <laughs> Mill two cards. The top two, okay. Uh, once during each of your turns, you may play a land or cast a permanent spell from among the cards in your graveyard that were put there from your library this turn. Ooh. Dang! She's pretty fancy. Cloakwood Hermit. You've always prefer preferred the company of animals to people. Commander creatures you own have at the beginning of your end step. If a creature card was put into your graveyard from anywhere this turn, create two tapped 1-1 one, one green squirrels! Uh, squirrels! Uh, we're getting back to the end now. I think that's our first rare. Yep. Yeah. Shadow Heart. Dark Justicular. Just a car. Shah's will shall be done. As sure as night will fall. Sacrifice another creature. Draw X cards where X is the creature's power. Choose a background. You can choose a background. There's a second commander. And we have monster manual. Put rares separately. Monster manual. Zoology study. That's another rare. And on the back we have... Oh, we have a foil. But it's a, just a normal. It's just a normal. But it's still a foil. And it is very cool art. Uh, when Sarvok's deception was unmasked, the cheering crowd erupted into an outraged mob. <laughs> Up to three target creatures can't block this turn. Goad them! Goading is very fun. One of the characters in Baldur's Gate 3. I need to play Baldur's Gate 3 because I actually have many codes for it to give away and claim myself to play. So I will be doing it and then I'll sure I'll understand a lot more of these card references. Because at the moment, I'm, uh, yeah. Uh, we have uh, our token is uh, a dungeon, the Undercity, and on the other side, the Initiative. Right, calm down, bruv. Um, arm, arms of Hadar burning slowly into annihilation. The elder evil Hadar grants fearsome powers to warlocks, willing to help San sa Sashate. Sash sa Stay. I can't talk today. It's too hot. It really is too hot. Guiding Bowl! Kajaji used this a lot. Destroy target creature with power four or greater. Aw. Kajaji uses Guiding Bolt, yes. We have a Stirring Bard. And it's a dragon. Kind of like Sing Sweet Tea, but she was an Argonian. At the first sign of danger, she breaks out the power cords. It is scorching. It really is. It's boiling hot today. <gasps> Cute! Carefree Swine Master! Come on, Boodigan! Let's see what kind of treasure this place has! Little gnome ranger! Whenever Carefree Swine Master attacks, you pay one, one mana and a green. If you do, create a 2 2 green ball creature token that's tapped and attacking. Not bad. Uh, oh, Kenku Artificial! They're so cute! Though her words may be unoriginal, her creations are anything but. For those that don't know, Kenkus can't actually talk themselves. They can only mimic words that other people have spoken. 
Uh, so yeah, they they will like just repeat back what other people say. So that's why it says their words are not um, unique. Fire diamond. Every facet aglow like an iron in Moradin's mighty forge. Pilgrim's eye. Charting the spine of the world is best left to dis. Uh, it's best left to the disposable. Oh dear. Black Dragon Gate. Black Dragon Gate enters the battlefield. Tap as Black Dragon Gate enters the battlefield. Choose a colour other than black. Oh, so it's the same as what we saw, but with black instead of green. An imposing visage that looms over all who would rise above their station. Druidic Ritual. Bone, root, and seed. The past, present, and future in all all in one handful of earth. You may mill three cards and return up to one creature card and up to one land card from your graveyard to your hand. Ooh. Sea hag. Hi, Lady Carb! How are you today? I hope you're glad, because if you don't, I'll be sad. Hello, Sausage. Can we get a shout out for Lady Carb if there's any mods doing mod things? There's one behind me just lazing about. Hopefully they'll uh, do it, but if not, I'll do it myself. But my keyboard is away because we're opening magic cards right now. Uh, parasitic Impetus. And what's this up to? Magic the Gathering sent us a big box, a mimic, filled with Baldur's Gate, a uh, battle of Baldur's, Baldur's Gate cards. We're opening them there today. today. It's too hot to function. Are you absolutely melting? Uh, enchant creature. Enchant creature gets plus two. Oh, wait, I think. I don't know. Pegasus Guardian. Cute. Look at the pony. Look at the little baby. The little foal. It sounds like a mouthful. It's not. It's Battle of Baldur's Gate and it's Magic the Gathering that sent them to me. I just can't function today because it's far too hot. Far too hot. Ooh, that is such a pretty card art. Look at that. Faceless One. The face. If Faceless One is your commander, choose a colour before the game begins. Faceless One is the cho chosen colour. Interesting. Holy hurdy gurdy, yes, I'm melting. Oh my gosh. Treasure Keeper. Sapphire Dragon. Underseller Sweep. Acolyte of Bahamut. Bahamut. You were on a wayward path until Bahamut showed you the power and kindness. Can you unite beneath the same banner? See, I can't even read. Ooh, we got our rare in this pack, which is Baba Lysica. Baba Lysica, Night Witch. Better the cold night than her warm hospitality. Sacrifice up to three permanents. If there were three or more card types among the sacrifice permanents, each opponent loses three life. You gain three life and draw three cards. That's really cool. Oh, we have a mythic Elder Dragon full art flying. Whenever Ancient Copper Dragon deals da combat damage to a player, roll a d20. You create a number of treasure tokens equal to the result. That's actually really good. Badgers, are you listening? Or are you asleep? We're the mythic full art dragon. Oh, nice. Master Chief! <laughs> it's Master Chef. But it's a hollow... Uh, commander creatures you own have this creature enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. The other creatures you control enter the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on them. So basically, all your creatures get plus one, plus one. Why didn't it just say that? I don't know. I'm confused. I'm going to put the myth it. Sleeve the dragon right now? Yes, boss. Is it no, it's just full art. Uh, for the dragon, uh, four normal, two red. It's colourless, sorry, colourless. Badges always tells me off as saying normal. Just, just, just take it, take it. What a great pull, I know. Second pack, this is the last one from the pre-release. Yeah, not a bad cost for the what you get from it. Uh, we have the Undercity token again. Right, um, yes, dear. 
need me to sleep. You need. Oh, okay. We're getting. Okay, we're double sleep. Get it here. Let me do it on here. Apparently, we're double sleeving this one. I've been told to double sleeve this, so <laughs> pardon me. <laughs> that we that we shall. I like how you didn't listen until I was like, badgers, badgers, badgers. Usually you hear mythic and you're like, <gasps> Can I have the sleeve back, please? Thank you. How much is this badge on at the I'm moment? Bear in mind, they're probably... Price is kind of a relative thing because it's not always a great indicator of what a card is worth but it does seem that that is a good card even without knowing uh what it's about right okay so at this moment in time from what i can see this is from two websites american price i've got a dollar price and a pound price mm -hmm. pound price, uh dollar price 82 dollars Ooh. Um, English price at the moment, but it's out of stock everywhere. This one. Oh, okay. So I've. Oh, I did not have that lid shut. Out, it's out of stock everywhere, though. It's forty-five pounds, the average price. Rate. Wow, that's not bad. That's the same as what my jeweled lotus was when we first unopened it, and that went up a lot. The jeweled lotus was one hundred. Oh, was it? And then it went down. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, hello, how are you today? Hope you're glad, because if you're not, I'll be yes. sad. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't do that near the cards. <laughs> right. So, we have... How was yesterday? Oh, it's fantastic. It was so good. It was really, 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 really magical. We have Vicious Battle Rager. I'm going to not go through all of the things because we've got a lot of packs to go through. Uh, after voyaging all the way through the astral sea with the life hanging with my life hanging by a silver thread, fighting the mind flayer was the easy part. Astral confront confrontation. Shiny! Enchanted creature, enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and is goaded. Whenever enchanted creature attacks, you create a treasure token. Oh, so that's one of the ones that you put on someone else's creatures, isn't it? Sylvanus' Invoker. Arise, friend, and seize the horizon in the name of the Oak Father. Timora's Invoker. My Lady Luck, smile upon you some other day, pal. Ah, Merkel's Invoker. Your death will make a fine tribute to the Lord of Bones. <laughs> Cat Rogue. Sadly, it's black, so can't go in my Ren and Siri deck. Boo. Cliffgate. We got the red version of the green and black that we got. Charcoal Diamond. We got the red version of this, I think. Insufferable Balladeer. <laughs> Vicious Mockery. Oh my gosh, that's a spell that Sing Sweet Tea used a lot. Uh, when Insufferable... One of my characters from d, &D uh, When Insufferable Balladeer enters about the target creature an opponent controls can't block this turn and you goad it. Predatory Impetus. That's badges. <laughs> We got the land gate. The eastern passage into the city is filled with reminders that the proprietors are literally looking down on you. Patrioters, Rish. That's not the right word, but whatever. Add colorless. Target creature gets XX until the end of the year. Yeah, that. Mold folk. Ew. Corpses of those slain by russet mold grow new moldies. Not the legacy most of us aspire to. <laughs> Merlin Minster, who we actually got in our pre-release, so. Oh, Guardian Naga! Oh, I love Nagas, look! How pretty! I love the little snake peoples. Um, Campfire. 
slaughter the strong. It was a big day for the grave diggers at Cliffside Cemetery. We have a uh, good, true soul zealot. This is our first of the D and D style cards. Like as in the artwork. We've got a legendary creature, and we have uh, another legendary creature, Scanos Dragonheart, a dragon rogue. Alt art, nice. Yes. Forgot to put that in my alt art pile. Uh, Dungeon Delver. You're driven not by lust or gold or baubles, but by the thrill of danger and the excitement of the unknown. And we have our rare, a rare, right plume adventurer. When white plume adventurer enters the battlefield, you take the initiative. At the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, untap, untap a treat creature you control. If you've completed a dungeon, untap all creatures you control instead. And we have, oh, we have a hollow rare, wilds reversal. Choose target spell or ability with one or more targets. Ro choose target spell or ability with one or more targets. Roll a d20. Add the greatest power among creatures you control. 1 to 14, you may choose new targets for that spell or ability. This is your, this is chaos deck, Badgers. This is for your chaos deck. Uh, you may choose new targets for said spell or ability. Or 15 plus, you may choose new targets for that spell or ability. Then copy it. You may choose new targets for the copy. <laughs> That's brilliant. Have a look at that badge, you'll like that one. It's a foil as well. Oh, okay. You'll like that one. Next pack! Just had a power cut to the street. No! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, MJ Bar. Just leave? No, just good for you. Yeah, that's just it's very chaos deck, Especially isn't it? Especially where it adds the power of the <gasps> Oh my god, look at this token! Fairy dragon, that is a storable token! So cute. Uh, we got Carefree Swine Master again. Contact other plane. Badgers is uh, not looking at that one. Zentarium Bandit. The Zentarium are ruthless, unscrupulous, and dishonest. But I must admit, they are effective. Hi, Green Sketches. How are you today? Hope you're glad, because if you're not, I'll be sad. Hello, Sausage. How you doing? Uh, Ice Wind Stalwart. Get behind my shield! Patron of the arts. Oh, Badgers, it's you. A lizard, ma a, a, a dragon, and a, and a dra Oh, no, no, I, yeah, maybe not. I don't know. It's okay. My mother owns the museum. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> when Patron of the arts enters the battlefield or dies, create a treasure token. Don't mind me. Um... Love the bottom text on that one. Oh, this one. What, the Patron of the arts? Uh, ambitious Dragonborn, the raging green dragon left destruction and at least one admirer in its wake. Marching One, two, one, two, one, two. <laughs> Underdark Explorer. Keep your fancy magic. All I need is oh we've already done that one. Uh, Dire Mimic, we've already seen. Warehouse Thief, we've already seen. Command Tower. New art for Command Tower. Nice. Uh, Derlek's Tower is filled with enough treasure to last a lifetime and enough traps to drastically shorten that lifetime. Dragonborn Looter. Uh, Guildsworth Prowler. Death Touch. When Guildsworth Prowler dies, if it wasn't black blocking, draw a card. Even if you don't play Magic the Gathering, you have to love the artwork. Oh, fa yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. The artwork in Magic the Gathering is absolutely amazing. Thunder Wave. Roll a d20. 1 to 9, Thunder Wave deals 3 damage to each creature. 10 to 19, you may choose a creature. Thunder Wave deals 3 damage to each creature not chosen this way. If you roll a 20, Thunder Wave deals 6 damage to each creature you're... Whoa, the nat 20 though. The nat 20. 
Nothic! Oh, look. It's not a mythic, it's a Nothic. Weird insight. When Nothic dies, roll a d20. You draw a card, you lose one life. You draw two cards, you lose two life. You draw seven cards and you lose seven life. Risky, risky. Oh, we've got another old art. Uh, Kaga Shadow Arch Druid. Uh, criminal past, uncommon. You've never cared. Oh, I think we've already seen that run. We've got our, a rare Raven Loft Adventurer. When Ravenloft Adventure enters the battlefield, you take the initiative. If the creature an opponent controls would die, instead exile it and put a hit counter on it. Whenever Ravenloft Adventure attacks, if you've completed a dungeon, defending player loses one life for each card they own in exile with a hit counter on it. Interesting. Uh, we have an uncommon holo... Wait, what? This is the weirdest card... Like, can you see it's slightly hollow? It's an altar slight hollow. Can you, see, you can tell by the text, but look, it's like only, very slightly holographic. Very pretty. Sarvok, Deathbringer. And that was the last card in that pack. So that's interesting. Very slightly um, hollow. Dragons are cool, but bird wizards are cooler. I mean, true. I really want to get this guy. I want to get Boo. <laughs> oh, Boo. Mmm, wizards. Mmm, wizards. Wizards of the coast. Thank you to Magic the Gathering again for sending me this package. Uh, this was a gift from Magic the Gathering. <laughs> I'm very blessed. What token are we going to get? Oh, copy. Merkel's Edict. <gasps> tabaxi! Kajaji was a tabaxi. Whenever this creature attacks for each opponent other than defending player, you may create a token that's a copy. Wait. Whenever this creature attacks for each opponent other than defending player, you may create a token that's a copy of this creature that's tapped and attacking that player or a planeswalker. <gasps> Oh, Badgers, I think, oh, I want this in my deck. That I have a Renin Seri deck. Badgers, this card for my deck. This card for my deck. It's a kitty, and it just makes more kitties. I love it. Uh, Coronation of Chaos, we actually got the foil version of that earlier. Jade Orb, Dragonkind. Oh! God, I was I'm looking forward to that card. Uh, the Worthling studied the ancient carvings and dreamed of a day when her own exploits would be mortalised in stone. Arms of Hadar. Marble Diamond. Oops. I love this art. This is the second time we see it. It's a mind player running away with, I think, a furbold. <laughs> I can't quite tell if it's a goblin or a furball, but how hilarious is that? That's amazing. You didn't notice the guy in the background? Uh, that is, he, he's my Magic the Gathering expert. <laughs> Prized statue. This is giving me Jungle Run vibes. Anyone? Those UK babies, you might, you might agree with me. Jungle Run vibes. To the cultists, the sacred idol was priceless. To the adventurers, it was worth about two sturdy mules and a barrel of ale. <laughs> that is brilliant. I love that. Marut. Jungle run. That's a bar blast from a past, right? Kobold tactics. Real oh, kobolds! I love kobolds! Kobold tactics. I hate killing kobolds in DLD. Like, they're so cute. Kobold tactics rarely account for little things like diplom diplomacy, uh, diplomacy, uh, mercy, or surrender. Lurking green dragon. I wonder if dragon's lurking right now. Lurking green dragon can't attack unless defending player controls a creature with flying. Territorial. Scary. No further notes. Universal Solvent. A few drops could dissolve the webs of Loth herself. 
Uh, we got Gond Gate. Juvenile Mist Dragon, I think we've seen as you, baby. Thunder Wave again. Uh, we got our, an, an uncommon call, Corlesa Scale Stinger. Would you like a song of wind, wind, wing wind and a fire or one of gentle heartbeats atop a golden horde? You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You, oh, you may cast dragon spells from the top of your library. So you could know what the top card of your... If, you, if this was your commander, you could just look at the top of your deck anytime. That's mad. Uh, we got an, another uncommon, Agent of the Iron Throne. You give your clients what they want at a fair price. What happens after that is none of your concern. Oh, we got a full art mythic again. Nautiloid ship. An artifact vehicle flying. When Nautiloid's ship enters the battlefield, exile target player gra player's graveyard. Whenever an oh, whenever Nautiloid's ship deals combat damage to a player, you may put a creature card exiled with Nautiloid's ship onto the battlefield under your control. And it's only four mana, by the way. That's actually really good. Uh, oh, ah! we got a colossal badge of foil. It's you. It's, it's a magic work! <laughs> That's Badger's when he doesn't have McDonald's breakfast in the morning. <laughs> we got a foil Badger! It's Badger's! And it's green! Choose target creature for those that are not uh, that are confused. This is Badger's. His name's Badger's R R. So I'm really excited that we got a foil badger, and it's a British badger as well. Look, ah! Choose to ta choose target creature. Mill four cards and put a one one counter on that creature for each creature card milled this way. When Colossal Badger enters the battlefield, you gain three life. Oh, I love him. Like the, ship. the ship, yeah, I thought so. Double or single? Not bad, not bad. It's a bad job. Bad job, look at you, look. <laughs> no, no, you can't rip that god. It's you, it's your baby. I like how all the regulars just pipe up because we got Badger. They're like, I don't know anything that's going on, but I know that's a Badger. Did you read the flavor text? No, what does it say? Root for enough dirt and you'll eventually hit something edible. Oh my god, it's you. If you, you're like, if I just headbutt this enough time, something will happen. You're a Badger. Ooh, that's a really... Don't throw him! Oh, it your arms in the place. Soldier token. Uh, reckless Barbarian. The best defence is not even knowing what the word defence means. <laughs> oh my god. What is that? Etacap? It's like a... Bug shooting like webs out of its face. Uh, a sneak. Myrtle's edit. We're going to start seeing a lot of uh, duplicates now. Uh, oh, Dread Linum. Run away together. I love that art so much. Prize statue. Marut. Pack attack. Lurking green dragon. Overwhelming encounter. Creatures you control gain vigilance and trample until end of turn. Roll a d20. One to nine creatures you control get a two plus two plus two until end of turn. Ten to nineteen put two one one counters on each creature you control. They stay until after turn. That's good. And if you get a nat twenty, put four plus one plus one counters on each creature. Oh, that's a really cool card. It's an uncommon. And I'm going to put it in my... I quite like that for my deck pile. Two-handed axe. Another Nothic. Uh, we've got another uncommon. Ellen Harbury's busybody. What a busybody. Uh, dragon cultist. You know that mighty Dracoholics will one day rule over this world. For you, that day can't come soon enough. 
And we got a legendary land reflecting pool, which I think is an existing card, but it's just a new art, right? Add one mana of any type of land that you could produce. Gale stared at the pool and saw a stranger. The similarities were uncanny, but it was not him. And we got another hollow. Have we got a hollow in every pack so far? Um, is that a thing? Slater. What, the reflecting pool? Or the trailblazers tool? Okay, I was gonna say, why would I why would I sleep that? Oh, nice. Oh yeah, price up on rare lands. Get your rare lands priced, baby. Uh right, next pack. Greens for baby. Yeah, greenies. Uh my Rin and Seri deck is white, green, red. So any cats, dogs, or anything that helps tribal decks that are in green, red, or white, I'm like, yes, I take that. We got the Undercity again. How many Undercity tokens can I have? Earth Tremor, Sylvanas' Invoker. Ooh! Grey Harbor Merfolk. Harbor Masters tend to forget that security shouldn't stop at the surface. <laughs> Deadly Dispute. Uh, great sword of tear in the in the light of its gleaming blade, the faithful shine and wicked cover. Lightning bolt. It's actually really cool. That's actually a nice card. Whenever equipped creature attacks, put a one-one counter on it and tap up to one target creature defending player controls. It's actually pretty pretty good. And it's only one white to equip as well. And it's one normal and one white to summon. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, Moss Diamond, Underdark Explorer, Prize Statue, Marut, Recruitment Drive, Roll a D20, create two, two one, uh, soldier tokens, pretty cool, pack attack. You meet in a tavern. Choose one, form a party or start a brawl. <laughs> oh, look at this little oak orc dude with his little baby dragon. Hello, my flattering friends. Isn't it a beautiful day? Oh, I love him. That is so cute. Arcane and Encyclopedia. A quill from the first reader at Candlekeep. The spectacles of the most holy servant of Gond. A woven bookmark from the Kelf of Arcane of Calimport. Readers always leave something of themselves behind. Uh, we have OG, the Exquisite Blade. The, the walk, the, they walk the path of Kensai with perfect balance. We've got another alternate art, Scanos Dragonheart this time, the Dragon Ranger. We have uh, Flaming Fist. You carry the security of Baldur's Gate on your shoulders and you welcome the weight of responsibilities. Uh, another rare land, Bountiful Promenade. Ooh! Ooh, this could be for me. You add a green or a white. Bountiful Promenade enters the battlefield tapped unless you have two or more opponents. As a commander player, that's a good card for me. Nice. Oh, and we've got our, uh, we got, you've been caught stealing. Look at this art. That is hilarious. <laughs> yes, boss. I'm being told to sleeve Bountiful Promenade. Also going to put it in my... This should go in my deck pile. Because I'm pretty sure the one that I've got now is... It enters tapped unless you have so many lands. But as a commander player, this would make so much more sense for me. Because I very rarely play against just one person. <laughs> Flaming Fist! OG, Arcane, Feywild... Wait. Wait, no. I, that, these are the cards I just opened. What am I doing? I was like, I swear, we've got these in the same order. I love these shiny elements in the cards. I know. Oh, actually, that needs to go in my shiny pile. Because I separate my shinies, even if they're on commons or commons. Night! That's a really pretty... Um... Forgot the word. Night. Flippin' forgot the word. Uh, Grey Harbour. De Whoa, can you not? Jeez. Right, we're going to get a uh, young red dragon. I don't think we've got the red dragon yet. <gasps> ah! Boo! Le 
Let's see how this miscreant handles a furry missile of justice! Up to two target creatures you control each deal damage equal to their power to another target creature. Tiefling, that was it, yeah. I completely, my brain is not working in this heat. Yeah, this is Baldur's Gate, uh, battles for, battle for Baldur's Gate cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baldur's Gate cards, yep, yep. It's in the stream tile, but I forgive you. That's so cute. That's going in my I like this pile. Young blue dragon. Decanter of endless water. Uh, Managate. Marut. Recruitment drive. We're seeing a lot of re uh, redos, uh, repeats. So we'll just smash through this. Lapis orb of, orb of dragon kind. Passageway seer. Life link. When passageway seer enters the battlefield, you take the initiative at the beginning of your end step. If you have the initiative, put a one-one counter on passageway seer. I'm certain there's a shortcut here. I was going to say, as there is a new Baldur's Gate coming for PC, and I'd be downloading it and not unboxing. I was going to say, as there is a new Baldur's Gate game. Do you mean that Baldur's Gate three that's been in early access for a while? But I'd you'd be downloading it and not unboxing it. Oh, right. Yeah, it's Baldur's Gate cards. Did the giveaway happen yet? Nope. Like I said, I'm not going to say when I'm doing it because I get distracted. Uh, Blood Boil Sorcerer, Skullport Merchant. Buy something or move along. He's got a little cat on his shoulder, look. Master Chief! <laughs> uh, we got a rare Gorian Wise Mentor. Uh, you are safest in the candle keep, Abdel. But I cannot keep you from the world forever. Vigilance. Whenever you cast an adventure spell, you may copy it. You may choose new targets for the copy. Uh, oh, we got a mythic green. Majestic Genesis. Reveal the top X cards from your library, where X is the greatest mana value of a commander you own on the battlefield or in the command zone. You may put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. That's pretty cool, actually. And we have a foil lightning bolt. Pew pew. Do you want to have a look at Majestic Genesis badges? <laughs> He's falling asleep. <laughs> I'm tired. Here you go. I'm sorry, Norvatine. Um, if you're, I don't know if you saw, but we got this as our um, pre-release card. Apparently, he's quite rare to get in the pre-release set. So, and we have next another undercity token i'm getting really sick of these undercity tokens we have armor of shadows what's softer than silk stronger than steel and quieter than thought warlock ridder what's softer than silk Stro no sleeve no sleeve okay guiding bolt fang dragon i don't know if we've had fang dragon yet we had red dragon Etta Cap, Tamora's Invoker, Ghastly Death Tyrant, Cloak of the Bat, Equipment, Equipped Creature is Flying in Haste. Not bad, it's quite cheap. Going in my alternate art pile. And it's alternate art too. Thieves' Tools, always handy. Poison the Blade, Breath of Basilisk, Skin, Sting of Scorpion, or Medusa's Tears, all may be distilled for a price. Pilgrim's Eye. Uh, bronze walrus. Look at that dude. Look at that dude. Uh, pseudo dragon familiar. Pseudo dragons are favored companions of wizards, prized prize for their cunning and curiosity. We got a uh, Chaldon dragon. First discovered in ancient Netheril, the Chaldron absorbs stones, absorb and hold magical energy, enabling constructs to be infused with fearsome power and unnatural malice. <gasps> Doggy! 
I have a cat dog deck, so every time I see a cat or a dog, I get really excited. We got an Iron Mastiff, which is an artifact creature. When Iron Mastiff attacks, roll a d20 for each player being attacked and ignore all but the highest roll. One to nine, Iron Mastiff deals damage equal to its power to you. 10 to 19, Iron Mastiff deals damage equal to its power to defending player. And if you get a nat 20, Iron Mastiff deals damage equal to its power to each opponent. That's not a pro call. Little doggy. Little doggy. Noll Warband. I love Nolls. Uh, Erinus Goomstalk Doomstalker. Uh, we got an uncommon Sil Sivris Nightmare Speaker. Snake Cleric Warlock. I know someone else that was a cleric warlock. Uh, street urchin, your harsh upbringing on the streets of the city left you crafty, resilient, and wise beyond your years. Uh, commander, cre uh, commander creatures you own have one. Sacrifice another creature or an artifact. This creature deals one damage to any target. And we got a rare sculpted sunburst. Choose a creature you control. Then each opponent chooses a creature they control with equal or lesser power. If you choose a creature this way, exile each creature not chosen by any player this way. Okay. And we got a hollow Pegasus Guardian, which, although not rare, is very beautiful. Thank you for the biddies. Thank you for the biddies. Look how pretty that is. A little bubby foe. A little bubby foe. We're going to start moving through these packs a little bit quicker now because we're seeing duplicates. This is very unlike Badgers to be falling asleep during magic. Do you want to open some packs to wake up? You're alright, okay. You're just chilling. <gasps> oh, you bunny! <laughs> you bunny! <laughs> oh, it's so cute! Oh, it makes me want to cry, it's so cute! No way, that's so cute. Guided Bolt, Stirring Bard, Carefree Swine Master, Kenku Artificial, Vicious Battle, Battleger, Marching to Drone, Moss Diamond Ultimate Art, Alternate Art Version, Chaldron Dragon, Recruitment Drive, Nimble Right Stomatic, Gensai Enforcers, Oceanus Dragon, I don't think we've had yet. We've had all different colours, but I don't think we've had Oceanus, Thieves Tools, Gate Colossus, uh, Irenesis's Vile Duplication. You will serve me better in this form. Ooh. Commander Liara Portier. Human soldier. It's a ghoul eats you world out there. Follow my orders if you want to survive. Uh, Scanos Dragonheart. Acolyte of Bahamut. Bahamut. You were on a wayward path until Bahamut served, showed you that power and kindness can unite both the same, beneath the same banner. And our rare is Traverse the Outlands. Search your library for up to X basic land cards where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. Put those cards onto the battlefield tap then shuffle. That could be really handy. And our hollow is Cut a Deal. I bought that card today, the Vile Duplication for my Commander deck. Oh, did you? Hmm. It's a win-win arrangement. I just happen to win the most. Each opponent draws a card, then you draw a card for each opponent who drew the card. Ah, that's kind of cool. I like cards like that, like friend decks. Friend decks are a lot of fun. Um, like you make people think that you like them and then you just like kill them at the end. <laughs> I really want to do a polymorph um, slash absolute just annoyance deck where I just annoy everyone. Uh, we got a soldier uh, token. I can't get over the rabbit. Oh, it was so cute. Young red dragon. Band together, you boo! Uh, young blue dragon. Armor of the shadows. By the way, we will be playing Baldur's Gate 3 at some point. I have a lot of codes and I have codes to give away at some point as well. Um... But uh, we will be playing that. We're just going through. We're getting a lot of duplicates now. Uh, Sci-fi dragon. Taunting kobold. That is a new one. Uh, and we've got uh, alternate art as well. Very nice. Very nice. 
Far Traveller You. Uh, have you seen that one? Don't know. No? Commander creatures you own have at the beginning of your end step exile up to one tapped creature you control, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. You have travelled to many places over mountains and across seas, but a new journey always calls. We got a rare legendary creature. Oh, we got her already. Baba Luska. We got another rare Kindred Discovery. As Kindred Discovery enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Whenever a creature you control that's chosen colour enters the battlefield, draw a card. A family that welcomes birds of all feathers. And our foil is Marshall Impetus. Oh, I hope I can catch that soon. I don't know when it'll be because we've got a lot of ESO stuff still going on, but yeah. Next pack. Ooh, ooh, we got a demon token. Creepy. In a good way. I like creepy cards. Uh, Icewind Stalwart. Get behind my shield. Patron of the arts. This is a funny one for anyone that didn't see it before. It's okay. My mother owns the museum. Ambitious Dragonborn. Great Harbor Merfolk. Merkel's Invoker. Tabaxi Toucaneers. Citadel Gate. Dire Mimic. Warehouse Thief. Command Tower. Uh, Dragonborn Looter. Guild Sworn Prowler. You've, you're confronted by robbers. This is... We don't seem this yet. Choose one. Stall for time. Tap up to three target creatures. Call for aid. Create three one one right soldiers, white soldier creatures. Pretty cool. Beckoning Will-O-Wisp. Where's Dawn? Follow the light at your own risk. Uh, flying. Lure the unwary. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose an opponent. Creatures attacking that last chosen player gets plus one plus zero. Explore the Underdark. Careful near those pretty glowing plants. What do you think they feed on? Search your library for up to two basic land cards and or gate cards. Put them into the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. You take the initiative. Pretty cool. Ew! That's gr- No! Is it killing sheep? That is gruesome! Ew! Giant Ankig. That is gross. Shameless charlatan. You see your next disguise in every stranger's smile. <laughs> we got a rare Dyna Hair Invoker Adept. Haste. You may activate abilities of other creatures you control as though those creatures had haste. When you next activate an ability this turn by spending four or more mana to activate it, copy that ability. You may choose... To oh, my God. Oh. Oh, we got the normal version of Nautiloid shit. I would have liked to have seen a different mythic, but okay. And our foil is Dilwork's Mole. The Flaming Fish soldiers prepared to face the... Boulette or worse, but the cause of the rumblings turned out to be much more benign and bizarre. Now have a sip of my drinky drink. Yeah, that card definitely seems really, really interesting. Sorry, this is getting warm because it's been in my room, so I'm just trying to drink it while it still tastes good because it's cold. Right. Um, apparently that was the last draft. I didn't even realise when I picked it up that it was the last one. <laughs> so we're on to set boosters now. Um, these have adorable little boo art on them. And set boosters have an art card in them. So we're going to see lots more fantastic artwork. 
And uh, we have less of these to go through, so um, hopefully we'll get through these quick because I know that we're going on quite late today. So our art card is a lovely dragon, specifically the Ancient Bronze Dragon. And I love the art cards in the D&D &D collaborations because they actually give you, like, actual uh, enemies in D&D. So you can use these in D&D &D so you can remember, like, you can just, like, shuffle your cards and choose random enemies and things like that. They're really handy to have. So I really love that they include these. We've got a basic land, Plains. New art. Lady Bormel claims an owlbear was, was, has been trampling her fields. But there's something unnatural about the tracks it left behind. That's our first no that's our first basic land, by the way. Charcoal Diamond, alternate art, parasitic, shiny impertus, prophetic prism, wayfarer's bauble, that's pretty. Druids hold certain plants to be sacred and use their leaves and wood as spell casting focus. Navigation orb. Bone caller cleric, the bells and earthly chimes sips into the ears of the dead, waking them rudely from their eternal slumber. Sarvuk Deathbringer. You of rock! Oh, of rock. Don't try to bribe them. They'll take your gold and your liver. Uh, Gorion, wise mentor again. He's a rare, we saw him already though. Hardy Outlander, you're born an explorer, happiest forger, forging your way through untamed wilds. Oh, is this, oh, is this etched? Merkel, Lord of Bones, rare, I think, is that etched? I never know the difference between normal and etched foil. It's not normal foil, it's like a weird border foil et gold et et I don't know I don't know what etched looks like is this etched either way it's a rare and it's foily I think Badgers is looking into it or he's asleep Badgers are you asleep or are you looking up that is etched okay no. we're the Merkle Lord of Bones I think that's alternate art as well I'll put it here for now uh, we have Tomb of Horrors Adventurer. Kind of looks like, uh, if, it, if they had brown hair, it would look like, uh, no. oh, good, what? Worth nothing. No, not worth anything? Boo. The These are the battle from, Go the Battle of Baldur's Gate cards. Uh, Magic the Gathering. <laughs> they sent me a lovely box filled with goodies. It's all the bones, yeah? Yeah, Merkle Lord of Bones. We've got a shiny Geode Golem. And on the back, you get random cards or a token. And we got a random card from 2016. That is... Reality Hemorrhage. Right, I know, I know, I know the set. I know the set because I've actually got four copies of this. Okay, okay. Um, that is... That's what the got. Battle for Zendikar, got it. Okay. Oh, I didn't realise Shameless Charlatan was a rare, a rare, rare. Let me put that in there. No worries, Godric. How are you, by the way? Hope you're glad, because if you don't, I'll be sad. Hello. We're having a great time unboxing. How do you spell boulders? It's in the stream title! No one reads stream titles anymore. Sheesh. Ooh, interesting. Look at this art card. This is... Oh, it's just an art card. It's not an actual uh, enemy card. But still really cool art. I think it might be concept art of some kind. Live and Cultist of Ti Tiamat. Cool. Very cool art card. Where did I put the other art card? Oh, here. We got a foil swamp. Badgers will be stealing that. Uh, Lozen Dragon's Legacy. Alternate art. Shigoroth is my favourite. Yeah, my favourite too. Kaga Shadow Arc, Arc Druid. Another alternate art. We got Goggles of Night. Ah, Night Goggles. Nice. Contact on the plane. 
Psychic and Peters, Marshall and Peters, Burnished Heart, so cute. Cast down. We simply cannot tolerate a petty thief among our servants. I'm afraid I'll have to let you go. <laughs> Drill works. Mole. Oh, we got another Merkel. Pee off, Merkel. Flaming fist. Oh, we got another etched. Is this actually etched? Because I thought etched were rare. Like, I thought... Oh. I don't know where that went. And I won't be able to move my chair because it might go over it. We've got a rare nine fingers keen etched. Why did I just get an ad? Lamau. Um, uh, I do play two minutes of ads automatically every hour to turn off pre-rolls. For half an hour so people don't get pre-roll ads when they come in. And um, yeah. So, you might have got one. Non, uh, By the way, subscribers, don't get them. And if you do get them, let me know. Because you shouldn't be getting ads. You should not be getting ads. Uh, Menace. Ward. Pay nine life. Whenever nine fingers keen deals combat damage to a player, look at the top nine cards of your library. May you, may, you may put a gate card from among them onto the battlefield. Then if you control nine or more gates, put the rest into your hand. Otherwise, put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. That's random. Never knew that. Yeah, it's, um, it's to turn off pre-rolls. I'm a sub. It might have ended. Because you don't have your badge. It may have just ended. I'm sorry. Uh, we have Duke Elder Ravenguard. L another rare. At the beginning of combat on your turn, another target creature you control gains haste and myriad until end of turn. Uh, we have Ensofral Boulder again. That's... Oh, it is uh, slightly foil. Oh my god, it's Skiwo Tolkien! It's so cute! Oop, it's okay, don't worry. Don't worry, Wolf. Easily done. Easily done. Come on, Boo. Come on, Boo. Come to me. Jump out at me. Attack me. Kill me. I just want to see your little face. Another Undersea token. Gosh. I've gotten so many Undersea tokens. Ooh, another really cool art card. This is Ancient Gold Dragon. Pity. We got an island with little shippy ships. You're about to disembark to find the Harbour Master when you spot a merfolk darting underneath your ship. We got a Sarvuk. Alternate art, charcoal diamond, alternate art, Ellen Harbury's alternate art. Three alternate arts in, the, in a row. Okay, sure, I'll take it. Deadly dispute. That's a pretty ring. Trade you my knife for it. <laughs> it says I can only gift a sub now. Must I wait until tomorrow to sub again or something? No. Try refreshing. See if refreshing brings anything up. Avenging Hunter, I will remember my friends. But you, you won't be remembered at all. Pack, pack attack, stone speak crystal. It whispers towards spoken centuries ago. Coaxing wisdom from the ghosts of civilization. Can't talk, apparently. Uh, we got another witch. This Baba Lazga person is doing me head in. Veteran soldier. Ooh. Oh, wow, look at that. That's pretty. Another one of these weird, etchy, foily thingies. Sivris Nightmare Speaker, but in like this weird, weird foil that's going on. We've got a Mighty Servant Leoko, which is a rare vehicle. So, physical copy of Taz Tribute when I'd buy it for collector's purposes. Me too, I would. I would. And we've got a Roving Harper foil at the back. The harpers value peaceful coexistence, historical preservation, and harmony with nature. And each day they spread their ideals a little further. How many decks do you have now? Uh, I've made one myself, but I own quite a few pre-made. But I made my own Rinnan set. I mostly just like my one deck and then I just improve it over time. Badgers has quite a few decks though. Ooh, Badgers has three that he's working on right now. Young Blue Dragon cute hi wonton how are you today hope you're glad because if not be sad the same land that we just saw 
Uh, Marble Diamond alternate art, Rasad Rashir alternate art, Nemesis Phoenix alternate art. Maybe you do just get like three alternate arts at the start, I don't know. Vicious Battle Rager, Arms of Hadar, Inge In Ingenious art 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 Artillerist. Sure, you can help me calibrate the aiming mechanism. Stand over there. Slaughter of the Strong. Each player choose. Oh, okay. Each player chooses any number of creatures that control total power four or less and sacrifice all other creatures that control. Far traveller, you have travelled to so many places over mountains and across seas, but a new journey always calls. Commander creatures you own have at the beginning of your end step exile up somewhere. Okay. Beckoning Will O' Wisp with C. Stand over there. Abdul Goyan's ward. Agent of the Iron Throne. Oh, we got another weird, etchy, foily looky thing. Um, we got the Abdel Gorian's Ward version. We got a rare Astorian Decadent. Death Touch Life Link at the beginning of your end step 2 to 1. Feed or friends. <laughs> Slaughter the Strong is our foil, and we do have a random card on the back, which is Sword of the Chosen. Target legend gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. 1998 reprint this is. Well, this is from 1998 and this is not from an original pack, is it? So it's technically a reprint, right? Well, how could it not be a reprint if this, I didn't. It's not a reprint. But it's from 1998. So you can always tell by the symbol. Mm -hmm. And also, there's only been two hits. Right. So it's known from something from the witch like Treasure token. And we have another really cool artwork, and this is Ancient Copper Dragon. Uh, basic land forests are lights in the cavern glow and fade. Glow and fade in a rhythm that must have a deeper meaning. If only you can figure it out. Uh, alternate art, summon the un summon undead. The air itself shuddered at the wizard's words, and the dark beyond her call was answered. Druidic ritual, murder. Destroy target creature. Pave your path to free to the throne with yet another body, if you must, Sarvok. It will make your stolen. It will make your stolen godhood no less false. Poison the blade. Cloud kill. As the acid fumes drifted through the lower city, even the vermin ceased to stir. Wild magic surge. Blood boil sorcerer. Taunting kobold. Oh, look at this dude. Look at him. He's doing a little dance. Pozo's heart was full of courage. Right up until it was full of elven steel. Ha <laughs> ha. I love it. We got a rare Mazzy True Sword Paladin. Whenever an enchanted creature attacks one of your opponents, it gets plus two, plus two, plus zero, and gains trample until end of turn. Whenever an aura you control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, exile it. Until the end of your next turn, you may cast that card. We've got Inspiring Leader. And our, we've got another one of these weird foily, not foilies. Uh, we've got a Tavern Brawler. And we got a rare. Oh, that art oh, is so pretty. Look at that. Nearer, wild mage. Whenever you cast a spell, you may put it on the bottom of its owner's library. If you do, 
Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Then put the rest of on the bottom of your library in a random colour. This ability activates only once each turn. Right, okay. And on the back we have Gondgate Foil, which could be worth money because it's a land, but it's not a rare land. But, I mean, lands, shiny lands, can sometimes pop off. Can sometimes pop off. It's not rare, it's just a foil, but it's Gond Gate. No? Okay. Never saw Willow, but noticed that Disney Plus is not A what? I know what you're talking about. Uh, we've got a skeleton token, the first skeleton we've had so far. I should really be careful taking these top cards off. We got a signed art! Woo! So some of the art cards will be signed and they're worth a little bit more than normal cards. Ancient Brass Dragon signed. Nice, nice. We got a plains, a different plains than before. You've heard rumours of bandits along the coast way. But your journey so far has been surprisingly uneventful. We got Liven, Cultus Tiamat of uh, alternate art. Evolving Wild! Search sacrifice of Oring Wild. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield tap, then shuffle. There is an immense diversity of life in the Underdark, almost all of which can kill you. Good little reprint that. We got Heap Gate. Circle of the Land Druid, Earth Tremor, Vile Candle Keep Researcher, Choose a uh, Vigilant Stone Skin. Ooh, nice shot. I almost felt that one. Uh, Flash Enchant Creature. Enchanted Creature gets plus zero, plus ten. That's actually really cool. Uh, we got Rasand Bashir again. We got a rare Weir Miram Sentinel Worm. Whenever another non-token dragon enters the battlefield under your control, create a token that's a copy of it. Except the token isn't legendary if that dragon is legendary. Wow, that's still really good. Uh, Candlekeep Sage. Skion of Halaster. Thank you for the follow. Mosi the Mad Mage is a, a deranged menace. But you recognize the genius behind his paranoia. We've got a rare rag... Ragged Dragger, Gorus, Gorguts Boss, a human boar. Each creature you control with a mana ability gets plus two, plus two. Whenever a creature you control with a mana ability attacks, untap it. Whenever you cast a spell, if it's at least seven mana was spent to cast it, untap target creature. It gets plus seven, plus seven, and gains trample until end of turn. Not bad. Not go. bad. Oh, smiley face. I don't know why it didn't do the music, but uh, we'll see what's going on with that in a second. Eldritch Pack! Eldritch Blaze! The Night Serpent tasted the Warlock's ambition and savoured the Dark Hunger in her soul. It's a rare. Target player draws X cards and it loses X life, where X is the number of cards in their graveyard. Right. Charcoal Diamond, alternate art, and that is actually a shiny as well. So, alternate shiny. Uh, right, that was all of our set boosters. I didn't, again, I didn't realise it was the last one until I just did it. Let me do this little uh, boogie boogie. Hopefully it'll play it this time. Don't stand in stupid. Don't stand in stupid. Don't stand in stupid. Don't stand in stupid. Don't. Sorry, I'm not keeping up with chat as much at the moment. Um, I'm trying to do these because we're going on a bit late at the moment. <laughs> And uh, I don't have much time with badgers yeah, this do. week, so. Smiley face. Wolf, thank you very much for the resubscription. I really, really appreciate it. Welcome, and all welcome back to the. Oh god, okay. And Wolf, thank you very, very much for the resubscriptions. I really, really, really appreciate it. Oh, wait, thank you for gifting a sub to Uppity. I really appreciate it. Welcome and all welcome back to the Offshore Tea Suppliers. Enjoy your chat badge, your emotes, your ability to change room lights, and the ability to use sound commands, all the commands available to you, and the estimation commands. Enjoy. Now, this is where we can get very lucky or very unlucky. We have our collectors. We have three collectors and one collector sample pack. So this is a 
two card sample pack that comes with the uh, commander sets. You get two cards in here. They are guaranteed to be alternate art or foil or full art. Any, basically any special cards. So in here we have rubbish and uh, a rare alternate art. Alundo the Seer. That's a lot of text that I'm not reading. And oh, we got an alternate art foil dragon. But he's not a mythic or a rare, so he's probably worth nothing. But it's still cute. It's Ganax Astral Hunter. Nice. Nice. Uh, right, we didn't get very lucky in our little sample pack, did we? <laughs> Unless that uh, Alundu the Sea is worth something. You're welcome, it completely wasn't a misclick. Oh no, did you really misclick? Oh, I'm sorry. So we got a shiny token as our little token on the back there. We have Sword Coast Serpent Foil. Navigation Orb Foil. Marble Diamond Foil. Are you seeing a theme here? Rug of Smothering. We haven't seen Rug of Smothering yet. No. Not an accessory to murder. I'm looking for an accessory for murder. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Candle Keep Inspiration. A foil island. Always nice to have. We have Val Candle Keep Researcher. Alternate art foil. We have... Oh, Lulu the Loyal Hollyfant. That is adorable. Aww. I love it. Commander Liara Portier. Another one of those strange new weird etchy foils. <laughs> we have a rare Albert Cup foil. It's a little bird bear. Mama's coming. Is the... Mama's coming. Whenever Albert Cub attacks a player who controls eight or more lands, look at the top eight cards of your library. You may put a creature card from among them into the battlefield tapped and attacking that player. Put the rest on the bottom of your library. <laughs> oh, I can't deal. Ah, uh, we got a Grell Philosopher Full Art Rare. Aberrant Tinkering. When Grell Philosopher enters the battlefield and at the beginning of your upkeep, each horror you control gains all activated abilities of target artifacts and opponent controls until the end of turn. You may spend blue mana as though it will mana of any colour to activate those abilities. Wow. Okay. Yeah? Look at what number. Oh no, is it four? What? F Grell? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah, the other one, it was six, six, six. Oh. Caves of Chaos Adventurer. Rare full art. Human Barbarian. We all well bear. We all bear. We all bear. Uh, we got a Nine Fingers Keeny again. I think we had one of those. We've got a flipping bugger off, Baba. Uh, we got a rare full art foil, Wrathful Red Dragon. Uh, dragon. Whenever a dragon you control is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to any target creature that isn't a dragon. Pretty. Very pretty. I think it might be alternate art as well. Yeah? I've been told to sleeve this. And that I shall do. That I shall do. A little bit warped, but uh, we expect that from foils. By the way, look how cool the R is for the collector pack. So cool. Oh, this one's causing me a bit of a ruckus. Oh. Oh my god, is this another flipping Undercity token? Yeah, but I've got the shiny version now. <laughs> uh, Merkel's Edicts. Prophetic Prism. Druid of the Emerald Grove. Sigil of Merkel. Ghost Lantern. Thresh, eat your heart out. <laughs> Island! 
Island, Shiny Island. As you sail past the imposing sea tower of Baldrun, you realize that breaking your friend out of that prison will be much harder than you thought. We got a Moss Diamond alternate art shiny, which is different from the one we saw before. Minthra, Merciless Soul. That is really cool art to see in foil. Look at that. Uh, Imoen, Mystic Trickster. Duke, Older Raven Guard. He is a rare foil. Rain Stealer Dragon. Ew, it's a Mind Flayer Dragon. Gross. Full Art Horror. Dragon Horror. Ew. Nasty. It's nasty. And we got a rare Full Art Basilisk Collar. A quick creature has Death Touch and Lifelink. Oh my god. Oh. Flip off, Baba. And we got a John Arenicus Shattered one and Baal, Lord of Murder. Murder! We have one more, one more collectors to do and that is it. We've opened everything except the commander, but I mean, you can look up what's in the commander online. You don't, I don't need to show you what's in that really. Badgers can go through it another time or whatever. Oh, I'm having a fight with this one. Badges! You always slap the last pack. Right, okay, fair. That wasn't a slap, that was a beat down. Thank you. Do you want to open this one? Are you sure? He can't, awesome he can't be bothered to move. He's too hot. He must be too hot because he usually never turns down opening magic cards. Uh, we have a shiny treasure token. We have a shiny thieves tools. We have a shiny Tamora's invoker. We have a shiny Osinus dragon. Come on, shiny boo. Come on. Taunting Kobold! Thunder Wave! I am a mountain! I am the sea! Lord Janeth sent you to secure the mine from Knoll Raiders. But so far, you haven't seen any Knolls. Or for that matter, any miners. Okay, this is in... Okay, Badgers, I might have an interesting card here for you. It's signed. Shiny and alternate art. Erinus Gloomstalker. No, it's got Jeff D 2021 on it. That's interesting. Uh, 407. No, that's how it comes. Oh, okay. Interesting. Tavern Brawler. Criminal Past. Earthquake Dragon Foil Rare. Oh, God. What? God, that's... What? That's expensive. What? Uh, what? That one that I just said, what is this one? Well, I'm just talking about the mana cost. The mana cost. Oh, oh, the mana cost, right. Uh, now... <laughs> Look at their boobies. <laughs> is, is <a> <laughs> Look at their boobies, huh? Yeah. What the the lady or the dragon? Uh, earthquake dragon. <laughs> no. Yes. Look at the boobies. <laughs> look at the boobies and weep. What well, the boobies? Uh, Nalfshni. <laughs> the boobies. <laughs> look, chat. Look at the boobies. Boobies. It's full art. Uh, Intellect Devourer Full Art Horror. Ew. Devourer Intellect or Body Thief. That's gross. Look at it. That's gross. It's not 
awesome. It's gross. Do you want the card? And we got Glun Glunich, the bestower. Rare etched question mark? Jellyfish! Look at the little jellyfish! At the beginning of your end step, choose a player. They put two 1-1 one -one counters on a creature they control. Choose a second player to draw a card. Then choose a third player to create two treasure tokens. Badgers! How would you play this card to benefit you? Yeah, this is a lot. Yeah, there's been a lot of discussion about this card. Jellyfish! Uh, so, right. Oh, really? What? I just got it again, but in a different art. <laughs> And on the back, we've got a rare Spire Garden full art foil, which could be worth something because it's a rare land. Spire Garden. Spire Garden. Add red or green. Spire Garden ends up after all tapped. Again, another card that could be really good for my deck. Uh, 606. Yes, please. Cleave. Seven pounds. So the Bestower is the only edge of card that can open right that's it that's the cards friends didn't pull i don't think we pulled anything majorly cool apart from our pre-release card which was this dude and we got a uh, nautiloid ship and the elder dragon the copper elder dragon yeah the copper elder dragon well, I'm sorry. It's not shiny, so I don't care. <laughs> Thank you again to Magic the Gathering for sending over this amazing little chest. I can't wait to keep my cards in the chest of storage. I've had so much fun unboxing these with you, and I hope you've enjoyed it too. Um, I can't wait until the next set, and I can't wait to use my little D&D &D book in my next... Um, D&D &D adventure. 